Eileen, great to have you today at the CBI Annual Conference. What have you made of the day so far? I've been really impressed by the day. I mean, I, I really love the breadth of everything that's being covered. Obviously, you have the Prime Minister, you have the leader of the Labour Party, and so you're talking about really big issues, sort of macroeconomic uh, issues and geopolitical forces that are affecting the country. But then it's being brought back directly to how this affects business, UK business, and how the UK sort of industrial segment is able to maintain its leadership. You've been talking today about disruption and how technology can be an enabler for growth, particularly in the financial services sector. What's the key message you really want delegates to take away from that? Well, that's a tough one. I think I'm going to have to give you three within a key message. I think the first point that I, I tried to articulate on the session itself, and, and Mark, who's the chief executive of Viva, I think he, he really uh, agreed with this as well. But the first message is about collaboration. And I think uh, the digital sort of startups or the SMEs that are working in conjunction with existing sort of UK PLC and a lot of the companies that comprise the CBI membership really need to be collaborative and work together in order for all of us to move UK industry forward. I think the second point would be about skills and talent and how we need to continue to invest more in, in, in sort of in-country and domestic talent, but also continue to attract talent from abroad. And then I think the third point is how much of an enabling uh, factor sort of digital technology can be and how we should think about whether we can use that for distribution, customer satisfaction, engagement, or simply making teams more efficient. But digital can comprise a lot of what we need in order to keep, um, again, our leadership position. Is the UK's fintech crown at risk of being stolen from countries like China and Singapore? I think because the UK is right now the leader in the world in fintech, there's certainly a lot of different regimes who are trying to compete for that position and they're really trying to catch up and they're working hard to do that. There's obviously a period of uncertainty that we have because of Brexit, but we've got hundreds and hundreds of years of a head start on everybody else. We have a financial services heritage that's not going to go over when, uh, overnight. We have a greatly progressive regulatory regime that supports innovation and competition. We have the skills here today and we also have the investment coming into the UK. So while maybe you know it's something that could be affected in 10 years time, it's not a two to three year horizon, it's not even four to six years and that means we have a lot of time to fortify our position and for us not to lose our leadership position in fintech.